Women make up 70% of the healthcare workforce, but only 20% of its leadership. On her story, we'll explore the careers of bold and influential women from Silicon Valley to Capitol Hill and learn how they've overcome the odds. This is Her Story, a program where we explore what's beyond the glass ceiling. Women's History Month is a time to honor and reflect on the contributions of women. At Think Medium, we're reflecting on our first show, Her Story. We are thankful for the time and dedication of our audience, guests, and incredible advisory council. The Her Story Advisory Council members bring a breadth of expertise to their interviews. They elevate the conversations by asking thought-provoking questions and providing insights of their own. So let's hear from them about Her Story's purpose. To begin, we turn to Cece Connolly. Cece is the president and CEO of the Alliance of Community Health Plans. She shares with us why it's important for women leaders to tell their stories. We want to make certain that as women leaders, we are really doing our part to bring others along. And I hope we get to talk a little bit more about that today because my own perspective really evolved over the years uh, throughout my career in terms of the responsibility of women who to one degree or another have made it uh, to then not just say, well, hooray for me, it was a hard struggle and I made it, so that's it, I'm done. So the Her Story Project is, is so important in my view for the future success of the nation and for women really advancing other women. Helping women advance, especially in healthcare, but in other realms has become, as I have, uh, grown and had fantastic opportunities in my own career and, and some nice successes along the way. My passion has really been to not stop just with my own career focus and trajectory, but trying to bring along other women. Her story is about uplifting women. Experienced leaders like Cece can share their unique experiences and insights to cultivate the next generation of women leaders. Joanne Conroy, MD, is our next advisory council member. She's the CEO and president of Dartmouth-Hitchcock and Dartmouth-Hitchcock Health. Dr. Conroy has been a longtime champion of women, even starting her own group called Women of Impact. I actually went to a very unusual leadership retreat, probably in 2011. And it was talk, talking about actually building your legacy. And, you know, most retreats or leadership development programs you go to, you know, they may be build a skill here or there. Um, but this was really a program that said, if you are at a, the height of your influence, what are you going to do to put that influence to use to actually create a greater impact? Women often do tasks that are put in front of them instead of doing things with a purpose and for a purpose. And how do you actually have a very purposeful way of making decisions in your life and also living into the future that you imagine for yourself? So this is really an imagination exercise that women leaders go through. Now, I was the only healthcare woman there. I was with women from Microsoft and Dutch Oil Shell and Google and I thought, wow, I bet I could pull together a group of women that want to think about fixing healthcare as much as I do. And so I wrote to the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. We got a small grant uh, to actually bring 23 women together in 2013, um, calling ourselves Women of Impact. And these women went through this imagination exercise. And for many of them, and they were these are national leaders. They said it's the first time they had ever thought about their careers in that way. And it was transformative for many of them. And they have all stayed incredible friends. And actually, we said, how can we actually increase the number of women that can experience this. So we've had four cohorts thus far. Now, we don't want to be a really large organization, but right now we have about 70 women that 
um, have gone through the legacy exercise. And um, we meet, we're actually on the phone about every three weeks, you know, talking about how we're going to create greater impact, but we're all focused on really contributing to fixing healthcare. Because we all have different perspectives, but healthcare is broken in a lot of different ways. And there's probably not one solution, but there's great strength of us all working together. Dr. Conroy is dedicated to empowering the women around her. On her story, we explore how female leaders find their purpose, create impact, and make meaningful goals a reality. Next is Christy Ebong, our newest advisory council member. She's the head of partnerships and market development at Define Ventures. The venture capital world is male dominated, but that doesn't mean her approach to investing or leadership is any different. I think it's a really real problem that pattern recognition is a thing. And so step one is saying, you know what, pattern recognition is there for a reason. We are really busy and we only have so many hours in a day. And so if you can look at a pattern, a Stanford, Harvard background, um, and say, you know what, this is probably a reasonably hedged bet. Somebody who's been in an entrepreneurial ecosystem, has the network, probably has the, you know, that pedigree and that background. It's a safer bet to make than, you know, somebody from a, maybe a university that you're not familiar with, you've never met anybody from, you don't know the context. There's a lot more diligence and understanding and context that is required to overcome patterns and patterns that have been built and, and, and created with intentionality. Um, and I think for me, coming from an unconventional background gives me an arbitrage of sorts in that I'm able to see through some of the existing patterns or some of the quote unquote rules, especially in Silicon Valley. I'm able to appreciate them and apply them, but also to question them in a unique way. And I think it's very easy for folks to say, oh, diversity is the right thing to do. But at the end of the day, and it's not even the stats I mean, the stats are there to prove it. It's being able to have a completely fresh and unconventional way to look at something and to recognize talent and recognize the solution to a problem. And there's, I mean, millions of examples of this throughout history, right? And so for me, I'm energized by bringing that to the table and I actually view it as an arbitrage and not an Achilles. On her story, we tease out what gives successful leaders their competitive edge. Whether it's venture capital, healthcare, or any other industry, being a woman can be an advantage, not a weakness. Next, we will hear from Julie Gerberding, MD. She is the Chief Patient Officer and Executive Vice President of Merck. One thing I would say to people who are looking at making career changes is that the mental model that has worked for me and I've tried to pass it on to a lot of people is a toolbox. So if, if you try to plan out your whole career, forget it. it I'm like poster child, it never turns out the way you think it's going to turn out. But if you think about what you're doing and what tools you're putting in your box, I mentioned earlier about laboratory experience. So, you know, those tools turned out to be really helpful when I was at CDC um, because this, the, I studied Staph aureus. And while I was serving in my first job at CDC, Staph aureus became a really important community infection from a drug resistant perspective. And if I hadn't had that tool in my toolbox, I probably would not have been able to understand and perform as, as well as I think we were able to do at that time. But, you know, whether it's getting your master's degree or uh, taking advanced training and getting a business degree, whatever it is, there's no bad answer. So when people ask me, should I do this or this? I usually say, yes, you know, <laughs> please do, do those things because they will put tools in your toolbox. You never know when they'll be handy. But in today's world, the people who will have the best opportunities long-term are the people who are the most versatile, who have more than one capability or more than one experience under their belt because they can flex from one opportunity to another and have not only the inner confidence that they have some capacities and some knowledge, but they will be valued by those who are making those choices because they have demonstrated ability to, to flex from one role to another. Leadership is pretty translatable and that's a good thing. Lessons in leadership are timeless. Each episode of Her Story is an opportunity to add another tool to your toolbox and glean professional and personal insights from healthcare leaders. To wrap up is Sangela Jane, PhD. Dr. Jane is the SVP of Market Strategy and the Chief Research Officer at Trillient Health. She is also a co-founder of Think Medium and sums up the vision of Her Story best. 
her story is, I think the platform that I wish I had when I was, you know, 18 years old, when, you know, I was this person that was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. You know, I guess I was lucky enough to know that I wanted to be in healthcare, but even for someone who didn't like, just what are the realm of options out there for someone who's interested in, you know, different facets. And at the time, all I really was exposed to, and I think a lot of uh, folks that, you know, whether they're my students in the classroom or others that I work with, you know, it's, we think about it very linearly. Like you can go be a practicing clinician. So you can go to, you know, medicine, nursing, you could, if you're interested in policy, you can go work on the Hill. If you're interested in business, maybe you go to consulting, technology, you know, maybe you go more kind of the Apple, Microsoft route, but it's really hard to know where to start. What are the realm of options? And so I think her story is really this great platform and resource center that, or at least I hope that it is for individuals to see, wow, first of all, healthcare is complicated and there's so many different interesting career path and opportunities and companies out there that are trying to make healthcare better. I think that's the one thing that I hope her story shows is just bring a diverse range of individuals who work at various organizations, various subsectors of healthcare. So it's not just providers, it's digital health, it's people who work in finance, investors who are thinking about healthcare, nonprofits. I mean, you name it. I think the point is, anyone who kind of touches healthcare directly or indirectly, you kind of get this broad lens view of the ecosystem. Healthcare is a wide reaching and complex industry. Her story showcases the many different career avenues within the sector and highlights how different industries overlap or work in tandem with healthcare. For young professionals starting their careers to established leaders looking to refine their skills, Her Story is the show for you. We tell stories by women for women to expand the vision of what is possible in healthcare.